Okay, so I, I say again, this is the, the folder in my workspace. I expanded it and then I can see the changes that you have made. Lah. Okay. So it's very good that you can, you can figure out the array. So uh, this is good. Uh, then, uh, okay. So you, you didn't me see what else you changed. Okay. Uh, can. Okay. Okay, so, so you said there was a problem. Uh, let me show the problem first. Uh. Uh, let me share my browser. Okay, so the, the first, the, one of the bugs that we want to fix today is uh, maybe as we change the surface area, this, this thing actually goes up. Uh, that, all right? Uh, hey. Yeah, so you, you want to like uh, make sure that this line doesn't show up uh, here. Then only okay. when the student start to play, then it, it draws the actual Post. decrease in the volume of water, which is yeah. in, in our case is the area of the polygon, uh, but it's the amount of the water. Uh. So we want to find a way to cleverly not show this up. Agree? All right, this, this is the bug that you discovered, right? Uh, uh, it's one of the... Another okay. hey, give me a minute. I think I need to turn on my router. Then later, I get disconnected again. Hang on. Uh. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so back to EJS. Okay, so the so this EJS is, is designed with the model and the and the view, you see. So since this is a view problem, so then I come here and I identify it as the second plotting panel, which is the scientific panel on the right. And it has something to do with the trail. So correct, because the trail uh, has certain properties that I, I like to check. Lah. So I'll double click on the trail. And I'll see the properties of the trail. So one of the ways you can uh, hide the hide the effects of the line being connected is you can say specify something say a t greater than zero. Oh. Oh. Okay. So in other words, the effect is it will only draw it. It will only connect it if there is a time is greater than zero, which is quite. Uh, a, a neat solution uh, to our problem because in our simulation it will only run when when the student click the play button right and then t at first is a zero number then it increases uh. so this is one technique that we can use okay so i'm going to uh, minimize this now and, and see go back to my ejs so after i change it then i compile it again Okay, Ooh. let's look at the new browser. So now as I change, you can see it doesn't uh, draw the line anymore. Then only when I play, then the line Aye. will be drawn. Okay, so it, it can be fixed easily. Lah. Okay, any other uh, un unexpected behavior that you have noticed? Mm, when we decrease the surface area, uh -huh. and then you press play, the amount of auto increase. Okay. Play. Okay. Post. So it has to do. Okay. I, I'm not sure whether uh, I'm gonna fix it or not. But I, I, I found another problem lah. So I need to fix that problem first before I, I try to address yours. Play. Yeah. Let me see the bug. So if I increase this, I increase this. Ah. Okay. So if I increase two variable, then now you see there's a bug. Play. Do you do you see the bug? Oh. It it actually uh did not follow the. The boundary of the uh, container, lah. Okay, so um, because mathematically, I need to do uh, I need to do it correctly, lah. Because it's only correct if the surface area and change and the and the wind and the temperature don't change and the humidity don't. Change. So how to I do it mathematically? Uh, is I can show now my screen. Okay, so this is your your EJSS. Okay. Uh -huh. The, the problem is 
uh, a mathematical one. Uh. So now I need to copy this okay, and paste it inside here. Because uh, uh, let me you give me a minute, ah. Uh. Okay, wait, let me paste this over. Okay. Okay, so if you, if you see the, if you look at the parallelogram, this is now a math, uh, math um, lecture. So I have two coordinates here. This is the top side of the, of the container. This is the bottom side. So this is the surface area. So if I look at this properly, I, oh, this is uh, S and S, huh? okay. So the, so I do some math to find the gradient. Then I found that this is the equation. Okay, so Y, Y S minus uh, zero, which is this fella, divided by the change in the X, which is X S minus two then equal to the new y minus zero. Okay, this is a, a generalized uh, coordinate. La. The minus zero because this is the zero here. Then x new, which is the new generalized uh, coordinate of x here, minus two. So I have found the equation. So if you differentiate y with respect to x, you will get this, you'll get this term, okay? So mathematically, you also know that uh, the y over the x is equal to this, but this is the gradient. And this is the, in our ODE is minus two x. And then this is the reciprocal of what we need. What we need is the x over dt. Correct or not? We need the x over dt. Uh. <laughs> so therefore, if you rearrange it, you will get this term. But this is only true uh, that so is is the this term here might multiply by the gradient. So I have to replace this with whatever I put in here. Lah. So that's why mathematically like this. Lah. Okay. So I, I just generally and see whether it uh, solved the problem or not. Lah. So I, I change two variable. Okay, so now it's it's working properly. Lah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's, it's the math. Lah. Um, yeah, it's the, it's the math. Okay, so I, I'm going to uh, teach you one technique. Uh, one technique. Uh, okay. So sometimes uh, you, you may find that oh, this, uh, you know, this thing very ugly. You know? So what we can do is we can simplify it by copying it. And maybe say I will call this the, I'll copy this. Uh, Control C. Uh -huh. Then I will call this b y. Okay, I call this b y, and I come here. V y stand for velocity in the y direction, lah. Oh, then I will edit here b y. Initial value zero, and now I will paste it in something called the prelim code. So it's a it's, it's my way of introducing you a prelim code, lah. Prelim code means what code should EJSS run before it does the evolution. So I want this, uh, I want this to be computed and assigned to the variable velocity in the y direction. Then I will evaluate this and, and pass it and then evaluate it, put the number here and evaluate this. Lah. Okay. So similarly, once I do this, I can now very confidently change this to VY. And it will be a lot, uh, oh, sorry, let me, let you see. So I will very confidently change this to VY and then just multiply by the gradient. I think this is the reciprocal of the gradient, sorry, reciprocal of the gradient. Okay, then this will be the, the simplified version. Uh. So, it's, so the, the trick is to do a variable assignment and then it makes your code a lot cleaner. Uh. Okay, let me look at the prelim code again. Uh. So put in prelim code, 
what you want to evaluate and then pass it into this variable so that you can actually simplify your ODE uh, representation. Okay, now let's, let's play and see whether did I make any mistake. Okay, so I will change the surface area. Then I will change the wind or maybe even change the temperature. So now let's do slowly. Uh, okay, slowly. Step, but step button to step slowly. Okay, so you, you can see that I have uh, coded it accurately. La. Mathematically, it's following the contours of the vest of the container. La. Okay, so your okay, so back to your issue was uh, if I increase the or if I decrease the surface area, it increases. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh. why? Yeah, hmm. okay, let me see why. Yeah, surface area 10, one, two, three, four, four plus one. 5 divided by 2, 2.5, 2.5 times 5, 2.5 times 5 is 12.5. Oh, how come the formula is wrong? 40, 5 times 5, 5 times this is four, is it four? Oh, it's double. Uh. Formula is wrong. Okay, let me check. Uh. Yeah, isn't it supposed to be plus, not times? Ah. <laughs> Okay. okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I wrote here plus, but I go and multiply. Okay, can, can. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, now let's, uh, so it's a mathematical problem. Okay, let me compile and check. Okay, yeah. Thank you for spotting the mistake. Yeah, okay, so if I make this really small, so this is four, okay, it should be called right now, I think. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice, okay. Can so we, we found the bug and we fixed it. Lah. It was a it was a typo error. It should be plus rather than uh, multiply. Any other um, problems you, you notice? Okay, so maybe for a, a teaching and learning point of view, I, I noticed this problem. Lah. From a teaching and learning point of view, these numbers don't quite make a lot of sense to the student. Mm. Oh. Okay, so this is one of the weaknesses of EJSS. Like it, it auto uh, fill the space, but it doesn't have any uh, consideration for, for making the numbers big and nice. Uh. So we, I, have, I have to do it manually myself. Like, okay? So I, I will explain to you how I do it. Okay? So I will try to make this into very nice numbers. Let's say I see, I do a quick scan is zero to 40, right? Mm. Oh, agree, zero to 40. This one maybe can be in can be integers la, one 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 two three four five la, because the time scale. So I'm going to show you how I do it in EJS. Okay, uh, okay, you are seeing my screen, huh? Okay. okay. So, um, so obviously this is again a problem with the with the view. So I identify it as the plotting panel. Okay, so I double click on the plotting panel to look at the properties. And I can see that uh, while I have managed to fill up most of it already, okay, there's something in the other tabs which is like decoration. So what decoration does is, uh, this is where I key in all the debugging uh, things I want to debug. Lah. So I will say x equal, then I want to show the value of x. then then concatenate plus, then another string. So this is next line, uh, oh, uh, slash n is next line, then y, then show the value of y. So under uh, axis, okay, this, this is where uh, you can do the magic that I mentioned. Uh. So for example, in the, in the auto ticks, I would want, eh, sorry, this is the, 
this is the plotting panel, the world graph. Okay, sorry, sorry. I should copy this and put it inside this. Okay, well, let me do it slowly. Huh? Uh, it should be the plotting panel too. Because I've been looking at the world view, I, I should be looking at the scientific view. Okay, so I double click on this. So the scientific view under axis, under axis. So the auto tick must be set to false because EJS tries to predict uh, what you want. So you automatically do. So you say, I don't want you to help me. So I want to do it manually. So this must be set to false for both X and Y axis. Then I will like fixed tick is where you want the axis to be centered on uh, where all the calculation for all the other coordinates are done. So in this case, I will put this at zero, zero because I, I will want my axis and the zero, zero is my fixed tick. Okay. Then the step for the fixed tick, I want this to be what? Tick, step, X tick, steps, X step should be, yeah, I think this is one, step is one. This should be 10. Okay. And precision, Precision refers to the, 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 the number of decimals that you want at the back of the number. So maybe say this one is uh, one, I think. So this will show, uh, this will show 1.0 for X. This will show 10, not 10, oh. it will show 10. Okay, you can play with the numbers when I return you the file, then you can take a look at it. So I'm going to, Okay, so you're seeing, okay, so I'm going to generate the simulation now. Okay, so you can see now that now it's very nicely 40, 30, 20. Okay, and then this is, uh, you know, the, the correct precision and the correct range that I've specified. Uh. Oh, so this one is one, this one is tens. Okay, so if you change now, it should look very nice for the student now. Play. Okay. So, uh, do you notice there's an annoying play uh, sound? Yeah. yeah. Annoying, huh? Okay. <laughs> How to disable it? Any any suggestion? How to disable it? Um, the speech custom. The what? Sorry? Speech custom. Pitch custom? Uh, okay, that's one, one way. I think it just but, um, play button. Uh, so, so because the, the sound the, the sound appears when I click the play button, right? Yeah. The sound appears yeah. when I click. Okay, this one don't have. When I click on the reset, okay, no sound. So that means there's a high chance, right, from a deductive point of view, there is a, a high chance that the, the problem is when on click. Play. You know, on click of this play button. Okay, so this is where I am explaining to you how to do uh, uh, troubleshooting. Because you, you need to look at the different parts and then decide where to go in to investigate. So the, the problem is here. Uh, so you are also not wrong to say that the script is also trapped in the custom. Okay, but this is easier uh, to go to the play button and check. So I'm going to go to EJS. It's the on click. Uh, it's the on click lah. so play button uh, so the play button okay play button i'm going to look at the properties okay so on click you click on it you can see that there's something going on here besides playing the simulation it actually does a speech of the word play Okay, so speech is found, the speech function is found in my custom because I found a way to make the browser talk uh, any words that I like. Okay, so you can even speak in Chinese and some of the basic 64 languages in the world uh, that, that Google supports. So you can invoke it. So I'm going to disable it by commenting it out. So now if I close this, and go back to my browser. I'm going to generate the, the new SIM. Okay, so now in this new SIM, there should be no more sound. Okay, so 
uh, this is the this is the the way to do um, sim, uh, debugging la, huh? So let me go back to EJS. Okay, so the custom function you notice has this thing called a speech. So sometimes having uh, meaningful uh, tag names help other people to very quickly uh, figure out where the code is, is trapped. La. The other way to do is when you do a, a very massive project, uh, you can click on the thing called search. Search. Uh. Then it will pop up a, a dialog box again. So now you can search for, just now the word was speech, right? So I can search for speech and press enter and it will show me the various instances where speech has been, the text speech has been found. It has been found in custom speech, line three, line five, and then in the property of this playbook, but ah, so maybe it's this fella, then but I commented it out. So maybe this one I also need to comment it out. So I double click on this. It brings me to, oh sorry, it brings me, it brings me to the dialog box. All right, huh? okay, bring me to the dialog box. And I can now look at this additional off click. Where is it? Let me share it again. Uh, uh, wait, I'm stuck somewhere. The screen is... Uh, Maybe it's a bug. Ah, okay, it's, it's, it's here at the back. Lah. Okay, so now I'll comment out this line. Okay, then I'll, I'll okay it. Then I go back to EJS. Where is my dialog box? You know, give me a minute. Okay, correct. So now you can see that, uh, okay, so you need to refresh the search. You need to refresh the search because I already added command line here. Oh, so I, I search again. So now, now the command line has been added. So I can see that, oh, this, this is not the source of the problem. It, it, what is this? Speech custom, oh, okay. So, so I can use this technique to look for codes that I cannot follow, which is why it is important. Sometimes you may want to have meaningful names, uh, which you have done uh, in a variable. I can see you have meaningful names. So each variable must be searchable, distinct from other variable. Okay. So actually T is a very poor example <laughs> of uh, searchable. So you know, T is too, is too short then, but luckily, it's just time, you know, because if you search for T, then it gets all sorts of strings. Or all sorts of strings are, are, have T. So it is a poor choice. But luckily, normally the problem is not T, it's, it's some other things that uh, maybe uh, I, I do not know what. But so try to have names that are, are slightly longer. So it's a compromise between fast coding and, and searchable and readable. Uh, so normally we go for something in between. Uh, can follow like that? Yeah. Okay. okay so I fixed that already. Okay, so uh, the, the sim looks pretty uh, awesome now, right? So now the, the trick is how to have multiple runs because for teaching and learning, we want students to run it like a data logger, right? So I'm going to show you how to do the uh, store data. Hey, you have it here or you paste it already. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so thank you for adding this for me. So we put it inside the store uh, uh, custom function. Okay, so we store it here. Uh, memory Y. Okay, so memory Y is something new. Um, under the screen is not, not sure. Oh, sorry, hang on. Uh. Okay, so in the in the custom function you have added for me already. So this can be found inside my GitHub. Lah. So the, the code I, I paste it here inside the custom function. 
because it is a function then followed by the name. And if you invoke this string, then it will run everything inside. Okay. So the first thing I need to check is, does this exist? So this is called underscore view dot trail. So I need to check that the name of the trail is indeed trail. Okay. So I just need to check. So I'm going to go to my view. Uh, okay. The trail is a small t. Okay. Small t. Can you see the name here? Yeah. Small t, right? So if I usually I'm lazy, I will right click. I will pretend to rename it. Then I copy. I'll copy. I show you my. I'll copy the word lah because sometimes I, I have a tendency to type wrongly lah. Okay, so I will cancel because I'm not trying to rename it. I'm just trying to um, copy the name. Okay. I'm going to cancel. Then I'm going to come to my custom function. I'm going to replace it with this name. It's a small t. Okay. So this will, this is a, a low level coding in EJSS. It will, it will make, it will go and find in the view, underscore view, followed by the name of that thing. And then it will do a, a function called new line, new segment, sorry, new segment. Okay. Uh, this, this, new, this name, new segment is a, is a functionality that is added by the professors. Lah. So as and when they, as and when we, we tell them, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Then they will add new functionality, which is why uh, documentation for this are, uh, are quite poor. Uh, they are usually scattered over the place lah, because they are, their, own, their own website is not updated for JavaScript, but it is updated for the Java version. Okay, so it is it is a, a knowledge that uh, that is alive in different different source codes lah. But I put them all inside my GitHub to uh, to arrange it in in a, in some system where it is not too difficult to find out. Oh, okay. So this is how you you check this line. The next thing you need to check is memory uh, color y. So memory color y has it been declared? Okay, no. Huh? So how do I know? I just do a search. Oh, the dialogue. I do a search. I paste in the memory Y. I see that it only exists in my custom, custom function line 10. So it doesn't exist. So I need to go to EJS and add it somewhere. So maybe say it has something to do with variables. Okay. Then I will add. I will add it here. Okay. So mem memory color is because EJS has a, it has a system of uh, storing memory color as, as integers. Lah. So I just use this method to simplify. I mean, of course I can, I can nail it down to, okay, first red, then blue, but then I need to, I need to tell the computer, I need to write the script such that every increment is a different color and in that order. So having a, a, a number like this saves me the trouble of thinking. So I just accept whatever EJS assign. So red could be a zero could be a blue then follow then when it become one, you know, then the number will, the, the color will just change automatically. I do not decide on the color. I just use some default, uh, default numbers assigned to the colors. Then I just increment it, increment the number so that the color change. Okay, so I put this inside here. Uh, okay, what else did I say? Let me see. Uh. Okay, okay. So now the, the problem now is this store button, the function, you have to decide where should the store data function be invoked. Uh, you know, do you want it to put it at the reset button? Do you want to put it at the step button? Okay, so I would assume that I I can just copy this and then I paste it back inside here. 
So I create my own reset button, but this reset button is actually a store data button. Uh. Store, uh, data store, uh. store, data store, data store. The name, this, this button, the name is uh, arbitrary one. Uh. Oh. Un unless I'm trying to reference it, then I must make sure the name is exactly the same as as this type la, oh. okay. So now here I will put in install reset. Give me a minute. Huh? So instead of reset, this is this store data button. Instead of reset, I will now do my I will now do my store data, right? Okay, this is my own function. Okay, let's check whether I did I key in the name correctly? Let me check the capitalization, uh, store data. Give it a, uh. right, it's all small letter. La. Normally I, I'm, I'm, I just write like that. La. Okay, so now let's compile and check. Okay, compile and check. You can see that if I change this, okay, no line is drawn. I click play, a black line is drawn. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't change the color. Okay, okay, it's still black. Okay. Let me come back to EJSS. Okay. I need to go to the properties for the trail because now the trail has no color. Oh, sorry, wait, hang on. Huh? So now the, the line color has no color. So it's called memory. Y color, is it? Okay, so something is wrong. Uh, it's just memory color, I think. Memory color, memory color. Oh, why? Yes, memory color. Why? Uh, because I I think as I evolve, then the the why stuck lah. Because it's it's for the why position lah. You can call it anything. Uh, as long as you reference it lah. Okay, so now let's try. Huh? I compile it. Look at the browser now. Okay, I play. Ah, red color. So, me so memory color y equals zero is red. Then as I click on this uh, store data button, okay, it goes here. Uh, so that means I need to, but, but let me just, okay, I, I need to, to do I did do more script lah. Okay, red color, so I need to reset time to zero. Okay, need to reset time to zero. Okay, so in addition to changing the color and you do a new segment. I need to set the time back to zero. Uh, anything else? All the other funny things that I have. Uh, X equals to X store. Y equals to Y store. Right or not? Agree? Because I want to move the, the, the container back lah, to its old, old position, right? Mm -hmm. Then uh, anything else? I think okay. Let's try lah. I I not I cannot remember. Let's 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 think with the with the prototype lah. So let let's look at the the changes now. Okay, I change this. Play. Okay, red color. Click on the. Ah, uh, okay. So now I can change a different win. Doesn't run. Oh, I need to release the the play button is disabled. But hmm, anything, huh? play button is disabled. Okay, I need to figure out why the play button is disabled. Because in my in my zealousness to make the the line don't do funny things i i lock it lah i lock the play button so i need to go and check on the play button 
Okay, the play button. Okay, the play button is currently disabled. So disabled is true now. So I need to go, I need to copy this, disabled. Go back to my, go back to my EJS. Okay, I need to, in my store button, In my store button, I need to go to the property on click. And I need to make sure that this is returned back to uh, false. So that the play button is not disabled. Okay. Well, let's try. Let me generate again. Okay. So uh, click play. Okay. Red line is drawn. Click on store button, it goes back to the original and the play button now is enabled. The student will now attempt to vary the humidity. Ah, can you see? Nice. Can you see this, this effect? Yeah. Okay. So this is the, this is my usual design of the multiple runs of an experiment. Uh, way la. so I, I rather keep the same setup I rather keep the same setup only changing the runs la. so you can you can uh, what else we need to change uh, humidity surface area uh, slider click this so maybe This is to remove everything. Okay, so this, this store button, I need a, a different icon. Uh, okay, so I am going to show you how to change the icon. Okay. Uh, go to browser. Okay, browser, correct. So normally I will, uh, okay, normally I will do a Unicode then the you know some 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 button thing lah okay then i'll look for usually this guy's website then then he has a lot of all these button that i can use for store button normally i i use this one for store button did you see any Better icons. You know, I just use this one, huh? So I just copy this. Then I go back to EJS. Okay, I go back to EJS. Then in this reset button, I will just paste it over. Okay, then I click click compound now. So you notice now it has the new store button, store data button. Okay, then um, one of the criticism, not say criticism, one, one of the design flaw is uh, icons doesn't seem to go well uh, with the teachers. Lah. So they want the word reset here, they want the, they want the word store data here and, and so forth. So I just show you how I can add one label. It, it's very simple, like it, it's not, Rocket, it's not rocket science lah. So, so just come here. So it's here, just store and enter. Okay. Then uh, when you compile it, then you will have the word store in front of it lah. So it makes it more, uh, more friendly lah. So the students have to think, hey, this is what lah, this is what, this is what. So it just, English words is there. So you can continue to add the word reset, step, and uh, play. And then of course, pause. Because this is a two-state button. Okay. Anything you else you want to check with me? Uh, 
thought. Um, I don't think it's possible to change the values of like the results, right? Because it's logically water uh-huh. wouldn't evaporate that fast, right? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, correct. So is there a way to like at least try to fake it a little to increase the seconds by like 10 or something like that? Okay. I'm talking about more logic, guys. Uh, or like maybe hours instead of like seconds. Yeah, you could change like it to hours. hours. Yeah, that, that's, that's one easy way. Uh, so instead of seconds, it's now in hours. Okay. Mm, let me think. Uh, you want to make the uh, time longer. Uh, okay, can, can, can. But. Thing, uh, yeah, I, I, I would. I think the easy solution is to. Change the hours. Instead of. Uh, change the time and stroke hours. Stroke hours? That would be the easy way. La. And then this amount of water, maybe instead of 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe is, uh, is a stroke milliliters. La. So that 10 milliliters is, is a very small amount of uh, liquid. So this is a very small uh, container, not, not a huge bucket, la, but a small pet, petri dish or something like that. So then the numbers will not look that terribly off. Okay. Oh, because we all agree, right? This is a... This is a fictitious model. It's not modeling the real physics of uh, evaporation. It is just our attempt to create a mathematical model for students to manipulate. And the effects is the same as, the, the result of it will be similar to that of the real setup that we are trying to do. It's just that now we let the student play and uh, the result can be, can be achieved in very short time and they can see the, the effects, uh, similar effects, but it's not a, it's not a real, uh, it's not a real thing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because we, we just added it as a mathematical thing. Okay, so if, if you have, uh, let me see. So you have no other questions. So you can, you can continue to add the ML and the hours, okay. I think to to answer your question, uh, uh, City, is to we, we can actually make this scale. Let me think. So, so what do you want to see if let's say uh, you can you can tweak it you can multiply it by a factor I show you how la. okay okay you're seeing this huh? okay so let's say um, so under properties of the plotting panel hmm Is this the one is T? Yeah, it, it, I think it's just playing with the, the just multiplying it with a factor. La. I think the hours one will be the easiest trick. Uh, if you want. Yeah, let me show you. Okay, so inside the trail, so you got to do it for both the trail and the and the shape. Huh? Inside the input. So you can multiply this by a factor. I don't know, factor of 10. Right? So multiply by a factor of 10. Then you'll be 10 times uh, whatever you see, you, you multiply by 10. Uh. Mm. Okay. 
let me just compile and see whether it makes sense or not. Lah. Yeah. Okay. Lah. So, so now instead of uh, one hour, it will take 12 hours to, it will take 12 hours to, uh, instead of 1.2 hours to evaporate completely, it will now take 12 hours to evaporate completely. So it's just multiplying by a factor. Lah. Yeah, okay. Create the, the desired uh, approximate numbers that you think make sense. Mm. Oh, okay. 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 So, okay. Uh, any other things? If if not, then you just clean up the simulation. Oh, I need to show you how to clean it up. Huh? Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So yeah. one of the ways. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, the ship. Sorry, sorry, I cannot hear anything. Uh, for the for the axis for the right one. You also need to transfer for the circle shape. Yeah, yeah, you, you need to do for both. Okay, can I do for both? Huh? So this one I multiply by a factor of 10. Or, or you can call this factor, la, factor. Okay, factor. You can see my screen? No, cannot. So maybe we call it factor lah. Since it's going to be like a permanent feature, we just call it factor. Okay. Then I'm going to introduce factor as one of the variables. Okay. Factor 10 initial value. Okay. Then I'm going to go to EJS, change it instead of multiply by 10, which is a bit low class. So I want to, I want to script it such that is variable control. So this is now the trail. So both are now multiplied by factor. The factor is initially a value of 10. Okay. Then I will now compile. Okay. Something like that. Then you just change this to hours and then this as a, I don't know, a milliliters or something like that some small petri dish or something like that. No, it doesn't have to be a large uh, cylinder of, of water. Oh. Then, uh, then I think this, eh, what happened? Bug. Ah? Maybe it's that. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah? Because the water. Oh, because I changed, I tried to change it while it was zero, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know whether I can figure this out, but is there a way to disable the slider when it's running? Yes, no. yes. Like so disable it goes through for the slider. Like M. Uh, there, there's, there's a, okay, there are many ways. So it is a, it's a creative problem solving process, but the simplest way that I figured it out is, uh, okay, I, I, did, I need to show you this. Uh, I need to show you this. So in EJS, uh, remember at some point I did say that EJS has, has a library of uh, functions inside. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to show you how you can invoke some of the EJS library codes. So you can come here to any, any space, then you right click. Oh, you cannot see the screen. Uh. Let, me, let me do on top then. I do a right click. Then you can see there's a uh, methods format code. Okay, so this method, you can actually use, uh, I think it's model, is it? Oh, I need to show you, uh, model. Okay, so under model methods, you can, you can see there are several of these uh, methods here. Lah. So I can say model is pause. So I can copy this code, then it's to check whether the simulation is pause. Uh, model, underscore model. So everything that has an underscore mm. are all native EJSS functions. If you create your own, normally it will not have the underscore in front. Okay? So that's how I can, I can distinguish between this is a native EJSS reset button, a reset function versus something I create myself. So if I create myself, I will... I will, I will not use the same name, underscore reset brackets, correct? 
I will maybe use uh, I'll, I'll use my own name user reset then uh, brackets. So I can I can I, I can there's a system to figure out whether it's a custom function created by a user, a, a developer like you and me, or is it a native function in EJS by looking at whether there's an underscore in front. Okay, so let's say I want to check, uh, I want to do initialize, I want to do pause. That's, that's where I got all the, the function from. Okay, it's all here. So this is print, print line and all that. Lah. So normally I just use this, use this one until here. Uh, until here okay so your your question was um you wanted to so you want to check is playing to pause it when it's to pause it when it's playing okay so i double click this okay, i select this oh sorry let me show you i select this model is playing All right i'll copy this i'll cut it out then you said you want to create the ability where the slider can't change, is it? Yeah. Or is it the button the, can't change? The what can't change? The slider or the slider? Because the, the slider, okay. So I go to the humidity slider, double click. So let's look at how the, the slider, so it's called disabled. So I will put it here. So it is when it, so in other words, when the model is playing, I will disable the humidity slider. Okay, so let's let's try whether it works. Okay, it's red color. Let me try to remove the dot. Maybe this one. Oh, I still cannot. Okay, never mind. I try. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe it's not a problem. Ah, it's not a problem. Okay, it just it still runs. Okay, the simulation still runs. So let's check. Ah, uh. so can slide, but when it's playing, cannot slide. Then when you, when the students stop, then can 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 slide then can slide again. This is not the this is not the exact um exact thing, right? Do you, do you understand what you're seeing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, when it is also so in other words, uh, it is not it is playing, but rather it is greater than zero la, T greater than zero. Am I right? Mm. T greater than zero will cover it better than when the model is playing because we are we are pausing the simulation at the end of the run which then makes the the slider uh, interactable which is also not exactly what we want so i'm going to change it to uh, double click on the slider so i'm going to remove this and make it just t greater than zero lah. I think that should be a cleaner, a cleaner condition for disabling the slider. Okay. Cle cleaner in the sense that it will create less problem lah for the for the user. Suddenly, uh, the the window of ability the, the ability to change the the slider for humidity opens up. When it is paused, it's a poor, it's a poor idea. La. So T greater than zero will disable it. I think it, it is it's a cleaner, easier way to code it. La. Oh, let's try. Huh? Okay, so T zero, let me see T zero. Okay, can you see T C zero here? So I can change it. I play. And uh, this becomes uh, unable to be changed. Then the only way is the student need to store the data. Then it becomes slidable. Then they have. Then the student can do another one. Oh, ugly! Yeah, this one. Can you see the the graph? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. Get rid of. <laughs> okay, ugly. So let me see how I can. Uh, so maybe the precision need to change yeah, yeah. because now the precision is one. Uh, you you I think you all know how to change it really lah. Huh? Mm. Okay, so maybe you don't want to be. Uh, let me see. Oh, how you you adjust it yourself lah. I think you have already the the know how. Oh, then uh, 
Then you you clean up this this. What else you want to clean up? Oh, I need to show you how to compile it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's say let's say you are very happy with the simulation. Okay, you are very happy already. Okay, so you need to do a screenshot. So I know only what I do is I do a control F, a uh, uh, a full screen out to full screen. Okay, then I'll do a a print screen. Oh, but my print screen has the let me let me remove the so I do a print screen. You can't see the print screen now. Huh? Okay, so I print screen it. The the reason for the print screen is this, huh? I so the print screen is now in my desktop. Okay, it's in my desktop. I can't show you my desktop. But I'm going to control C and paste it inside. Uh, let me show you my, my file manager. So I'm going to, so I think this is your folder. Okay, this is your folder. I'm going to create a new folder. The folder name keep the same as the file name. Okay, evaporation. Uh, why keep? The same name is for ease of finding the file later on. So I'll paste it here. Okay. I will now double click on the properties of the picture. The property now, the picture is now, oh, I can't show you my preview, but I will now change the, I can't, okay, I can show you the preview. Okay, so this is a preview. So now I'll adjust the size to be 320 uh, by, I unlock this, 320 by 180. Okay, where do I get these numbers from? Uh, then I, I save this, I save this. Oops, uh, let me see why am I sharing now? My file manager, right? File manager. File manager. So, so this is the, the small file here. Back into EJSS. Okay, back into EJSS. Normally, when we package a, a simulation for student or other teachers, I okay, how do I get to this page? There's this little button here. There's this little button here by the top. This fellow here. It says information. So click on it. It will pop up the information. Okay. The information has meta text uh, and, and all that. Okay. So uh, you can change the title. So the title now is called evaporation. Okay. Or primary school, let's say, or, or something like that. Lah. The, the more you describe, the better it is when, when this is crawled by the Google and the other search engine, it makes it easier for them to, to list your material as evaporation. So it has surface area, right? Surface area. Yeah. Uh, what else does it have? Uh, you, humidity is it? Yeah, then humidity, humidity. 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 Uh, what else? And wind. <laughs> Presence of <laughs> you know, you know about all these things or not? Sorry? Temperature. 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 The presence of wind. Presence. Uh, wind. Presence of wind. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Never mind. <laughs> okay. You don't know. You don't know the computer can can do speech to text, right? Okay. For primary school. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So this is the title of the. This is the title of the. Of the simulation. Okay. Then uh, copyright, I think normally I just leave it blank. Right? Then, uh, okay, this is important. Huh? You all need to 
I, I suggest you all add your names to the doesn't have to be your full name, like could be your pseudo name, can be just uh you know Coco or, or something. So that so that the next time you look back, you know that these are created by you. Can so I'm just gonna add pseudo name first, uh, uh, then you, you want to flesh out full name or whatever up to you all. Uh, okay, city Coco. Do I, I just call you Coco Ken? Yeah. Ken, uh? yeah. I mean you can change it later, uh. later I send you back the file. Then you want to add images or not? I actually have, I created my own image. Ah, good, good, good. So Only to, Apple. To, to, I drew. Ah, some. yes, yes. So you, can, so you can put something that you are known on the internet. Maybe your Facebook is a picture of the sea or you can put it here. It's not, it doesn't have to be your real face. Uh. It's just that for people like us, I, I already have a habit of putting uh, an image. Uh. So the other professors all do the same thing. So uh, I suggest you also, if you don't want to put your picture, it's fine, but minimally have some name, something that you are known on the internet. It could be your Gmail. Depends on what is your purpose. Uh. If you want people to come back to you and, and ask you to change the simulation, then you add more details. If you just want to have something to, to say that this is done by you, you know, then as we see that there are more things made by you, then we can see, oh, this person can actually have done a lot. It's like portfolio like that. Lah. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put this here. Then to add the image, you just click on it. Then you can go and, go and find your own image. Drop your image here inside the, the root of that source file. Hey, where's the source? Ah, the source file, the root of the source file. Don't need to put it inside the folder. The folder is the, is the assets, like the screenshot. Okay. Then uh, finally, you come here, replace the simulation logo, click here. And then you go to the evaporation folder, same name as the source of it. Huh? Hang on. Okay. So uh, let me check. Okay. So same, same uh, file name, the folder, the asset is here. So I click on the image. Okay, this is our image. Okay, let me go back to share EGSS. Okay, so you can see that the thumbnail, the simulation logo is now added. Okay, so it gives, this, this is useful to me because I am putting this up on the, on the I want to study .org website and then it will automatically pull all this out and display on the website. Okay. Okay, so once you do all this, these are all the uh, necessary steps in order for the file. I will send it back to you, then you all can keep on improving it. Okay. Yep, sorry. You all try to say something or not? <laughs> Nothing, no. huh? okay. So you just uh, click on this button here. Okay, um, then it will, hack, it will hack it. disconnected. Sorry? She got disconnected somehow. Oh, she got disconnected. Okay, okay. So, um, so the, it will save the model. I will replace it if it's already in existence. Then I will save the zip file. Okay. So now I'll go to my, I will go to my file manager. I will navigate. Okay, for me, I, I put it here, my workspace, then, call, then export. So uh, it is this two file here. Lah. So normally you will send me these two files. These two files you send me, you drag and drop into uh, WhatsApp, then I will, I will upload it to the server. Then after that from the server, I will give the URL the simulation to the teachers and the teacher when they are free they will test with other teachers then the other teachers may try with real student then they'll tell us oh this one has this problem had that problem then then i will then i'll collect all this feedback then we will improve the simulation yeah. so it's it's pretty amazing like one one or two days we can do some one thing already yeah. so 
I, I know it's not perfect, but uh, at least something is working. We give it to the teachers, then we 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 improve it lah as as the teacher use it. You know. Maybe they tell us it's is is good, but no need to add some other stuff or what. Okay. So I'm going to drop this into WhatsApp. Okay, then you just copy the same idea. Lah. You send me back this two file when you're ready for me to update it. Okay, this afternoon I can't I can't do a zoom with you all because I have another meeting. Okay. So um Maybe you all take, take the, oh, waiting a minute, okay. Oh, she got, she got out lah, accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> so Siti, you breathe Coco lah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, hey, wait, 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 let me see. I'm not sharing the, the chat. So I'll drop it. <laughs> Sorry, I got disconnected. No problem, no problem. Yeah, it, ha it happens, uh, don't worry. So, end of the day, you send me back these two files. Mm -hmm. Then I will populate it into the digital library and I will do all the other stuff. I will, I will show you how to improve it. Lah. So, you can take the rest of the day to improve the simulation. Then, uh, then you can conceptualize about the next one. Lah. There's a next one, right? Let me see whether it's doable or not. Huh? Okay, this one is a bit too difficult. Huh? I let, me, let <laughs> me create a template. Then I let you fill in the, the pictures. The interaction I will handle. Then you all help me with the rest. Okay, this one. 400 million place in the bigger hot water. Heat gain, heat loss. Uh, heat loss, heat gain. Two thermometers. Let's keep on. Okay, this one I already have a simulation. So maybe we can use that one to improve it, to create the visuals. Okay, so I, I, I will show you, I, I will show you my, my simulation. Let me show you. Okay, I want to study, right? Then uh, under, you navigate under interactives, physics, thermal, then you just click on the thermal, then you can see all the stuff. So that one was a... Uh, this one. Okay, this one, the block. So now the idea is I already have a thermometer, not a very pretty one, but the thermometer and a block. So now the so to get the source code, you just download the source or the model, depending on which one you, you want. I think download the source better. Lah. The, the oh, all the different. Stuff. Then, oh. so this is how the simulation look like. It's already scripted such that it shows the decreasing temperature of the copper block. Okay. So according to what the teacher wanted, is is just changing the copper block and placing it in another beaker of water, and then uh, yeah, it's basically so now the the so now the the water is just here lah. Oh, so we can use the same script, the same simulation. We rename it, then we add the graphical in the, the graphical things. Yeah. Maybe can add. Uh, oh, but the water will increase in temperature. Uh. Yeah. 
I tell you what, you all just look at the, the source code first, then you all think, uh, take, take the rest of the day to improve the current SIM. Think about this SIM, then tomorrow, then I, I handhold you all to, to see how we can uh, change it to, a, to, a, to an object inside a water, uh, a water basin. Uh, because the problem with this is, Okay, the, the, the current model of this is the temperature comes out, the, the, the heat comes out from the block and it is given to a infinitely large reservoir of uh, air. So the air doesn't increase in temperature. Yeah. You follow? Yeah. Air doesn't increase. But the teacher's uh, requirement in the activity of this uh, because now HBL, my home-based learning, right? Yeah. So the, the teachers are all having problem. I mean, even though now it's once a week, and then eventually the schools are going to reopen, but they, they are asking me whether we can make this into a virtual lab so that to make the lessons a little bit less dry. Because currently it's just, it's just looking at the video and then clicking through some option and write some reflection. So if, you can, if we can make a simulation for them, then we can get the students to play with it. Lah. So maybe through playing with the sim, they can see more insights than just the usual multiple choice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, so we were asking about the difference between the model and source code. Yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to change the internal coding because the, the model, probably, okay, let me, let me just, since you asked like that, I, I, I think it's a good idea to show you the, the model. You hang on. Huh? Okay, so let me share my, my model. Okay. So I really save it. Lah. Oh, so this is the SSTRF. I really save it. So I, have, I should have no problem uh, starting a new one. Okay, I go to Digital Library Singapore. You can't see it, nah, wait, nah. This is the the. Oh, did I click? Wait. So it's under thermal physics. Or oh, oh, I can't remember. Is it this one? Let me check the name first. Are you hang on, nah? So you go to the browser. You click on the simulation. You look at the, the name. The name is called, my zoom is blocking me. It's called cooling, right? Can you see the word cooling? Model cooling. Model cooling. Uh, model cooling. So the file name is cooling. Okay. So let me just go through our uh, cooling. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wait, hang, hang on. Huh? Okay, it's called cooling. Can you see? Yeah. It's trapped yeah. inside here uh, under 03, thermal physics 11. And cooling. So this is the, the easy way to get the file. Lah. Okay. Then let me just see what else I can share. So then you will prompt me where to save it. All right. You'll prompt me where to save it. So now I will not save it inside this EGSS source evaporation because then it will mess up the things inside your source code. All right. So I'll, I'll keep it here. I will put it inside SSTRF 2020. Then I will save. So it will, it will save it here as another folder, I think. Or if you're afraid, then I just create a new folder. Uh, cooling. Okay. You can see, yeah, uh, cooling. Okay, cooling. Did it save or it didn't? Cooling. Then I open. So you dump everything inside that uh, cooling folder. Okay. Let me just check how to share now. Share cooling. 
correct? So now I can see from the file, it is stored inside SSTRF 20, 20, cooling, then the, the file is cooling. Okay, so when I'm referring, when I'm talking about the model, uh, so the, the model is now currently is like this. The rate of change of the temperature with time is minus kappa is a, is a constant multiplied by the difference in temperature between the thermometer temperature and the block minus the background temperature plus the heating divided by the specific heat capacity divided by mass. Okay, so because this, there's, there's something uh, in this assumption and that is heat. Heat is lost to the, to the background and the background doesn't increase in temperature. So I need to go and think how to make the, 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 the background increase in temperature as well. <laughs> because it's a physics, it's a physics thing lah. So, uh, depending on what was the model's assumption, is it? Because in this current model, it is losing heat to an infinitely large reservoir, which is the surrounding. the 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 background can absorb infinite amount of heat without increasing in temperature. But if the teacher changed to this particular problem in the WhatsApp chat. Huh? Then that assumption becomes invalid really. Huh? Because this one, the, the tap water inside this small little beaker can, cannot stay constant one, right? Because the heat loss is equal to the heat gain. Huh? So I need to modify the, the equation or even better, like if you can figure out how to modify it, you know, but I, I'm just afraid that it could be difficult. Lah. But you can give it a go and then, uh, and then we see whether uh, we can improve your model based on this, this current model. Lah. You, can, you, can use the, you can use the code. You can use the code that is found here. Okay, you can look through. And then you can uh, either you modify it, save it as a different file, and then you change it, and then you can see whether you can make it such that the this this becomes uh, this become so while this one drop, there's something else in the surrounding that increases by the same amount. So this is now the the temperature decreased by the iron block. We need to introduce another one called tea water or something like that. And then it is the, my, it, it, this is negative, then this is the plus. Ah. So it's, it's this, you know, like that. Then I need to introduce another variable uh, for T bigger or something like that. Capital T, then bigger, then I need to do the necessary uh, arrangement. Uh. Okay, it is. It sounds to me that it's not impossible, uh, But I just thought that it could be a bit difficult. But if you guys want to give it a try first, then you can spend spend the rest of the day improving the current sim and, and this one. Then tomorrow, then uh, we we uh, I will see what you have done. Then we can improve your model. Does that work for you? Thank you. Can uh? Okay, so I really send you the back to two files. Okay, you, I think you can, yeah, I don't need to send you this file. Like you, I give you the link when download again, then you can work on it. So far, any, any, any problems or not? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, no? Well, uh, I think the question was, you no, know, when, for example, when you give us the website, right? Then we uh -huh. should download the source or model, right? What, uh -huh. what is the big difference between downloading the source or, and downloading the model instead? Oh, okay. Uh, let me show you. Huh? Okay. Um, okay. I, I just show you the, the output. Lah. The output, you can see the output, you can understand. I think I don't need to show you exactly where to download it, right? Okay, so okay, so the, the major difference is, this is called a model. This is called a source. The model, if I double click, 
Okay, it becomes a it becomes a folder. The contents of the folder inside here are all the assets that I upload to a website. For it to do this, I show you the output. Huh? It will it will do this. This is actually the model. So it, it will need certain assets to render the pictures, the, the thumbnail, and the simulation and all that. Lah. So this is the model. Okay. Uh, so the, the model, let me go back to... So the model is what I upload to the website to share with the student so that they can play with the simulation. That's the, the model. So there's a library here. The library is, has all the other uh, interesting stuff, which is the, the, the engine that renders all our code useful. Lah. So our code, our code is this fella. Our code is, uh, is this fella, right? This is our code, right? This mm -hmm. is where we key in all our, our own design, our own variable, our own uh, equation, right? Then EJS takes this to generate the simulation as well as the index HTML. These two files are the same file. Okay. So this is the, the simulation. This is the, the, the one that students see. But in order for the student to see things, it needs all these pictures. It needs this one. Uh, in order to render the, or oh, your, your win is outside here. Yeah, okay. You need to, uh, so it needs the entire model to render the web page correctly, okay, including this, this thumbnail here. Lah. Okay. Now, what is the source? If I unzip the source, the source, first thing, the source is significantly smaller. Okay, the source is only, can I share this? The source is only uh, this, this big because it, it doesn't have the EJS library. It just has the, the raw ingredients to build the sim. Okay, so it's only 111K. Uh, okay, wait. Huh? Where's the model? Where's the model is, is uh, larger, it's 300 over. Okay, so now I go back to the source. So the source, where is it now? So if I unzip the source, okay, the source, if I double click, okay, you see the source has some, some only the raw asset, which are the pictures, the thumbnail, I call it the thumbnail now. It's a logo, it's a simulation logo. Then the source file, which is the important one. These are all the assets. So this asset here should be inside here. Should be inside here so that you, um, and this one, the win also should be inside here. So that when we share and pass the source code, it, it doesn't get, um, doesn't get, uh, untidy, you understand? You know, <laughs> untidy. So it only has this and this, and, and everything is inside here. Where, where, whereas the the pictures are no choice because the pictures are universally, uh, they are always the same. So I put it outside. So imagine you have your own logos here. So if I put them all inside the, if I put them inside here. Then there will be many, many copies of us, our, our, our pictures in every subfolder. So that's why I put this outside. But these assets should be inside here. Then you got to, you got to re-reference it lah in EJSS for the rendering of the graphics to appear. You understand? So to answer your question, what's the major difference? The major difference is this you give to student <laughs> They cannot run the file. <laughs> oh, this you give to student, or oh, the student enjoy. They, they play with the simulation. I double click on this. Huh? 
then it runs the file. It runs the, the simulation natively on their hard disk without the need for internet. So basically, it, it, it gives them the, the, the freedom to, to interact without internet. Lah. Then how about when you download from the library, it's the source, right? Oh. Yes, when you download from the library, it's the source, not the model. Okay, already? Yeah. Oh, so you, you, I mean, this is only day two. You, you, you already have done, uh, I mean, you have already learned a lot more than, than the other teachers. I got typically teachers also, they also want to learn how to make sims, is it? Uh, but they are also, learning is hard in the beginning, lah. Mm. Oh, like the everything. But once you get the hang of it, uh, it should be, it should get easier. And then once you start to see that your work is, is used by, by teachers and students, then you will be, it'll be more enjoyable for all of us. Lah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I will leave you uh, now, then uh, you all can sort out the rest, right? And I check in, then you, then you check in with me again tomorrow. Because Afternoon, I got another meeting. Sure. Okay, so I, I leave the I leave the room, then I give you, okay, so you can continue. Huh? Okay. okay, so okay, see you guys. I make one of your the holes. Huh? Okay, and let me pause, let me stop the recording here. Okay. Have I, have I finished? Okay, so I think I will. Is it still recording? I. Oh, is it my side? So I just stop there. Oh yeah, you. you I thought I stopped really late, but yeah. Can you stop the recording for me?